With the Downton Abbey sequel's great success, there's only one question left. Will there be a Downton Abbey 3? The sequel was released on April 29th and in just one month broke all the records. There are certainly many possibilities for the third movie to happen very soon, so stay with us until the end as we have some really great news to share with you. Well, this is the situation we're in. With the money, we can bring the house up to snuff to match what we've spent on the estate. As we promised, we'll start with the good news. Downton Abbey A New Era was a sequel to the 2019 historical drama Downton Abbey. Both films are Julian Fellows' creations, so understandably, his words weigh the most. Talking to Sky News, he said, If audiences want more and the cast wants to do more, then I'm sure we'll find a way of delivering more. I don't mind if it's run its course, I think that's fair enough too. There you go. This was enough for us, anyway. It would be only fair to continue talking about the possible third part of the story, only if we jump a little bit into Downton Abbey, a new era, and make a short recap. So make yourself an English tea and take your tissues closer, as we're going back to that emotional roller coaster. This movie underscores how much the times and characters have changed since the franchise's beginning. Lady Mary will open the gates for the movie crew into Downton Abbey's hallowed halls, something that is a spiritual affront to the Dowager Countess, her grandmother. It's the year 1928, one year after the events of the first film, and the Yorkshire country state staff are still recuperating from their experiences serving the greatest the royal family. This year, however, they'll have to work for even more overwhelming guests, and those are Hollywood celebrities. Jack Barber, who's a director, will visit Downton, and he would ask for permission to make a silent film within the estate. His offer is both confusing and intriguing for the residents. Barber will be very happy to find out that his offer has been approved, but he's even more excited to spend some time with Lady Mary Talbot. At this time, the film industry has been undergoing major changes, especially at the end of the 1920s. The Jazz Singer became the first film to include a synchronized score with original songs performed by the actors in 1927, and this was a huge change and a decline in silent films. This made Barber decide to work alongside the Downton residents and to add dialogue to his silent movie. Soon after, he would realize that Myrna's British accent is terrible, so he enlists Lady Mary to replace her voice. Nice move, right? Mary will indeed give him a hand, but then she politely declines Barber's advances. Anyway, it seems like not everyone in Downton is as impressed with the Hollywood glow. Violet Crawley, the Dowager Countess of Grantham, thinks that this is just a trend. Violet will find out that she owns a villa in the south of France from the Marquis de Montmiral, and let's stop here. We won't kill the joy, and we'll let you on your own. It's time to rewatch the movie and revive the same feelings. A new era broadens the scope of the saga's world. It marks seismic changes and new beginnings for the Crawleys, but we're for it. We truly believe that the next movie will be even better. There's not much I couldn't tell you about how to run a house, sir. See, that's the difference between you and me. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. The first movie was released back in 2019. The sequel was originally scheduled for release in December last year, but the COVID-19 related shutdowns forced the studio to push the film's opening date back to April 29th. Downton Abbey A New Era became a financial and critical success. The first film wrapped up many of the plot lines that had been introduced since the beginning, but it left the door open for a sequel. We're standing in the same place now. Unfortunately, it's too early to say anything, but currently there are no plans for Downton Abbey 3. But as we said before, Julian Fellows gave us hope, so whether or not there's another sequel all depends on the audience reaction, the cast and the crew. The audience is settled, we loved it, so get up on your feet guys, it's time for work. There are however some predictions about the potential release date, Downton Abbey's first film was released in September 2019, and that's almost four years after the TV series was concluded. The first intention for Downton Abbey A New Era was originally for Christmas 2021, but it turns out to be released in April. It took two years for another film to be made, so it would be fair to guess Downton Abbey 3 would release sometime in 2024. Action! Madame, Monsieur, Place vos Paris. The greatest thing about the Downton Abbey sequel was that the main cast will hit that like and subscribe button just like you should if you haven't done so already. No, really, in all seriousness, almost the whole cast list returned back. Downstairs back on duty were Phyllis Logan's Mrs. Hughes, Jim Carter as Mr. Carson, Robert James Collier in the role of Thomas Barrow, Sophie McShara as Daisy, and Joanne Frogat returning back as Anna Bates. While upstairs, we welcome back the likes of Elizabeth McGovern's Cora Crawley, Hugh Bonneville's Robert Crawley, Maggie Smith in the role of Violet Crawley, Michelle Dockery returns as Lady Mary, and Laura Carmichael as Lady Edith. There were a few new cast members as well, such as Natalie Bay, Dominic West, Laura Haddock, and Hugh Dancy, 
so more or less we were able to watch almost the whole Downton family. Since there's no official information about the third part, it's only reasonable to think that Downton Abbey 3 will have the same cast list. Maybe with a few changes, that will exclude the characters who died and with a few new names. I'd definitely be up for it even if nobody watched this one. We'd say, sod you lot, we're making a third one anyway, said James Collier to Yahoo and this really made our day. I'm afraid I'm too old-fashioned to believe that what I want is the only thing that matters. As of 12 June 2022, a new era has grossed $40 million in the States and $44.1 million in other countries, which made a worldwide total of $84.1 million, way above the expectations. The film was projected to gross $16 to $21 million from 3,820 cinemas in the US and Canada, but it made $7.4 million on its first day, not including $1 million from Thursday night previews. But that's not the most impressive thing. On the review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes, 168 critics left a review and more than 85% of them are positive. Now back to the plot. It's very likely that all of the cast members would be back for Downton Abbey 3. That list, however, won't include Maggie Smith, who finally closed the book on the Dowager Countess. We know that Matthew Good was unable to reprise Mary's husband, but we really hope to see him back for Downton Abbey 3. There are certainly many possibilities for the story to continue from how a new era left it. Although Maggie Smith's Lady Violet finally says goodbye, the Crawleys welcome new members and we saw them in the person of Tom Branson's new wife Lucy. The Bransons have also welcomed a new baby. On the other hand, Thomas Barrow left his position as Downton's butler and that means that Mr. Carson will have to return to train Andy Parker and take his place. It would be very interesting to see how the Crawleys will welcome the next decade and the turbulent 1930s. The door is open for more and Fellows continues to give us hope. Talking to town and country, he said, Honestly, I thought the fifth was the last series, creator Julian Fellows told town and country. Then I thought the sixth was the end of them. Then I thought the first movie was a goodbye. Who knows? Until we get something more, we'll tie up ourselves with this information. You can always count on me if that means anything. It means a great deal. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below, what are your thoughts on Downton Abbey A New Era? Do you think that the next movie will be released soon? What are your expectations and what are your theories? Which characters that haven't been mentioned should appear? And what are your suggestions? If you liked the video, like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll never miss our next videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Will you marry me, Miss Baxter? I mean, Phyllis?